What is up guys and welcome to no another hero preview for the next hero, Malak the Demon Lord. I know what you're thinking guys, Strike is another hero? It's only been a week. I know, I amaze myself with my productivity sometimes. Anyways, let's get started. His passive is Eldritch Touch. Malak's attacks shoot out 5 bolts of lightning. Dealing damage in a cone. They also apply a, debu a debuff that decreases magic resist and armor. This stacks infinitely and is permanent. Does not work on heroes. You'll see why later. His next skill, F. Bell Reaving, slices and dices in front of him, dealing intent agility based damage on every attack, and also applying his passive. Alright, let's move on over. Next we have... Demonic Singularity. Malak summons a black hole that damages and drags nearby enemies. Upon reaching its destination, the black holes explode, dealing additional damage and stunning enemies. I wish I, I wish I could show you that part, but these crabs are just not cutting it. Ooh, a turtle. Boom! How exciting. Next we have... Next we have... Oh crap. This is a bad situation for a testing run. Eldritch Curse. Malak places a curse on a target hero. It's a PvP ability and they lose mana while cursed and walking. Once they reach zero mana they will become stunned for 10 seconds and Malak will gain a st 5 stacks of Diablery. Every stack of Diablery permanently decreases its strength by 1, it increases its agility by 2, and its intelligence by 1. Uh, it didn't stun in this test mode because cheats are on, but everything else worked. Malak's ulti is Chaos Overwhelming. Upon activation, Malak goes into an uncontrollable frenzy, attacking friend and foe alike with double base attack speed. Also, his lightning gains increased range. While in this mode, Malak gains stacks of Diablery for every unit killed, and for every hero killed, he gains 10 stacks. At 255 stacks of Diablery, Malak will no longer lose strength upon gaining any more stacks. In addition, his agility and heat gain is doubled. There, not. Now he's unlocked. He also has drastically reduced base attack speed permanently. Not as fast as he is in ult form, but nonetheless quite powerful. Also, while in, in ult form, he is invulnerable to all damage. That is all for the hero preview. Thanks you guys for watching and hope you guys enjoyed.